On Saturday, September 6, 2014, Central California Environmental Justice Network hosted a valley-wide conference for environmental justice leaders. About 142 participants joined us at the Community Congressional Church, and many of those traveled from environmental justice communities across the valley. This year's theme was Roots of Resilience, as partners helped to shape strategies for creating resilient communities that could promote engagement for shaping healthy spaces. At the conference, several workshops served to inform on pressing topics that are affecting our gente. Some of the workshops include an evaluation of environmental justice screening methods, a look at the Rural Opportunity Index, the future of fracking activism, organizing through arts, culture, and community gardens, land use and transportation, and resiliency in the face of a drought. The communities in the San Joaquin Valley to achieve climate and environmental justice. We do this by building leadership with grassroots communities, farm workers, youth, Latinos, and, uh, and low-income uh, families. Member groups from across the region came together to celebrate partnerships and learn about pressing topics. The more people we can get together and speak to them and they speak to each other about what's going on in their communities, it'll only benefit the Central Valley and that's our concentration is actually the Central Valley. Residents, advocates, workers, government representatives and academia were all in attendance. It's really important for everybody to come together once in a while to show each other support and have a sense of unity and we consider ourselves family. We often joke that you know CCEJN is like another family that you have. So we're the familia and we support each other. At the conference, participants were able to hold important conversations about the future of the environmental justice movement. To really bring about change, not one community, not one organization, is going to bring about the type of change we all need. And Central California Environmental Justice Network is the product of several decades of really building the movement from the grassroots up. So in the San Joaquin Valley, the redder areas are the areas that have a lot more hazards near them, according to the counts that we've developed. If we were to overlay uh, on this map those communities that have the highest rates of heart disease, of hypertension, of diabetes, it is in the communities that have less infrastructure. It's in the communities that, that don't have sidewalks, don't have um, crosswalks, don't have um, bike lanes, don't have full service grocery stores, because our environment plays a humongous role in shaping our health. The movement has been importantly and significantly a stop movement. Um, resist, stop, stop more bad things happening. So the, one of the opportunities I see is that the EJ movement is going from just a stop movement to a grow movement. And these roots are powerful. They bring in nutrients from the earth, water. Nothing else. When you leave here today, make a commitment to go back into your community and to find something that inspires you. Find something that makes you want to fight the good fight to better your life and your family's life in your own community. Thank you very much. Thank you.